guys, Mike from Evolution Apocalypse. What we're going to do today is we're going to take a test knife that we got from Blue Wasp Knives and we're going to put it through the mill, run it through some tests. We're going to cut some paracord, some twine, some zip ties, a can, a bottle. Um, we're going to chop through a stick and do some, see if we can get some fine shavings out of it. Uh, I really like this knife a lot. So why don't we go ahead and uh, jump into an up close shot of the knife. Alright guys, so what we're going to do before we do any test on it is we're going to take a look at it up close. Um, as you see, we've got the knife here. We'll jump into that in a second. With the knife, you also get a certificate of authenticity. You can see here, it um, tells you the style of the knife, which this is the Utility Skinner. It tells you the handle. This is the black G10 with Coyote Tan Liners. Uh, pommel is NA. Sheath, Coyote Tan Kydex. The blade is 01 Tool Steel. And a for guard, and a for bolster, and it was made on 0414, and uh, there's his signature there. And also gives you his, his uh, phone number and uh, where he's from and how to reach him on Facebook. So that's pretty cool. You get a certificate of authenticity with each knife. I like that. You get a uh, business card as well, as you guys can see there, which uh, all this information will be in the description as well, um, which is cool there. So let's take a, a close look at the knife before we do any... Uh, outside testing on it. What we got is we got the knife here. Um, this is in its sheath. As you can see it's a nice nice compact knife. It's got a uh, nice feel to it. It's real thin thin line. It fits on your belt really good which we'll, we'll jump into. Um, so let's pop it open and take a look at it up close. So first things first um, as you can see you see his logo in there. He's a Japanese style inspired uh, knife maker. Got the uh, nice G10 scales here, which I really like because if you look on both sides, they're pretty evenly matched, which is nice that, you know, he took the time to make sure that each side is almost pretty much damn near identical. Um, you can see the uh, coyote spacers in there, which looks really good when it's in the, uh, when it's in the um, sheath because it matches up really well, as you can see there, so... Um, the blade itself is a 3 and 3 8 cutting blade made out of 01 tool steel, like, like we said. It's got a really sharp edge on it, which we'll jump into that here in a little bit. You can see the jimping here is nice, nicely evenly spaced. It's got five jimps, and uh, as you can see, they're really, really nicely done, and uh, they, it fits really good in your hand. The, the foreguard here that's cut out here is, is fits really good. As you can see, when you hold it in your hand, it makes for a really nice, comfortable knife. The overall knife uh, length is about 8 inches, which is nice. It's got the spear point, which uh, I like because you can do a lot of different things with it, and uh, it makes it really sweet. Um, as you can see, it's a full tang knife. It's got the hex pins in it, or hex nuts for the, for the scale pins, um, which I really like, too. It gives it a nice little finishing touch. It's not just, you know, brass or just your, your typical... Um, normal thing is, I don't know if you can see that close or not, but they're nice hex pins and it does really nice G10 work, um, as I said. So, as you can see there, it's really, really nice edge on the blade there, um, which, like, we'll jump into on the outside test here in a little bit. But, um, it's 5 30 seconds inch thick, which is a nice thickness. So, it's, it, it's, a, it's a really thick knife that's not going to break on you for sure. Um, so, let's set that down, take a look at the sheath here. The sheath we get is a uh, Kydex sheath, and it's custom fit to the knife. It's Coyote Tan, which is nice. I like the color of it. It really looks good on there. Um, the belt clip is Kydex, but he makes his own. Um, one really cool thing, if you go on the write-up I did on EvolutionTheApocalypse.com, you can see that I talk about how I like to wear my knives upside down, which is nice because the way he puts his clips in there, as you can see, it allows you to do that, to hang it upside down. Um, and I'll show you why when we get outside on why I like to hang my knives upside down. But the, uh, the workmanship is really good. As you can see, it's really nicely done. Um, little drainage hole there if water gets in. Um, really nice fit, nice strong kydex. Fits the blade really well, as you can see there. Um, it looks really good. The blade's not coming out of there, so it snaps in really, really nice. So it's a nice looking knife, nice compact. So I'm really liking the design of the knife, the look of the knife, the feel of the knife. And uh, next up is what we're going to do is we're going to do some tests on it. And then uh, we'll give our final thoughts on it. So uh, let's go outside and cut some things up. All right, guys. So what we got here is we got the common stuff that you would need to do any kind of utility knife type style test, which this is a, a utility style knife, a camp knife or utility knife. Got some twine. Got a zip tie. A couple pieces of paracord. Tin can in case you need to cut it for a, a makeshift stove or a uh, you know way to you know boil water. 
Same thing with the, uh, the bottle itself there. We got the paper we're going to do the paper test on. And we got a branch that we're going to just kind of do some, some carving on, some cutting on, see how well the edge holds up, see how sharp it is, see what it can do, if it can chop through it and whatnot. So first off, as I said before, I like to put the knife upside down. Why? Because I can get to it really quick and easy, as you can see there. Um, I like that, that feature a lot. So let's do a uh, paper test on the knife first. You see, that's pretty good there. Let's go ahead and do it again here. The wind's kind of windy out there. The wind's not going to help us here. Wind doesn't want to work with us today. You can see there it's pretty sharp, but the wind's messing me up here with the, can't get the edge of this deal, so you can see it's cut pretty good. Pretty nice uh, shaving there. So it's pretty sharp right out of the box. I'm happy with the sharpness of it. Um, damn wind wouldn't hold the paper. So, all right, so let's go ahead and uh, what we'll do is we'll cut some uh, some paracord first. Actually, let's do the twine first. This is just twine that you would use, um, you know, to tie up a tarp or to do a lot of different things. Let's just kind of cut it, see how well, how much effort it takes. Not much effort. Let's double it up, cut two pieces. Cuts it good. Same thing with the paracord, let's see. This is 550 paracord, seven strand. Let's see how well it cuts there. You can see it cuts really good. Let's fold it up and do a double. See how well it cuts through two. Pretty easy. Um, so as you can see, it, it, it cuts the paracord on there. Um, a zip tie is a little bit stronger, but sometimes you might need to cut through a zip tie. So um, let's go ahead and see, see how well it, it cuts through a zip tie here. Pretty good, I mean, that's, that's pretty damn good. Um, Next up is we'll do the can. Uh, just cut a round edge around the can just to see, like I said, in case you need to make a survival stove or something. Um, as you can see, it punctures really easy, but the spear point makes that really, really nice. And let's just cut around it. Cuts it with no problem. So it's definitely going to cut through an aluminum can, which you can use for a lot of different things if you need to cut something open. Um, so now let's go to a uh, plastic water bottle. Sometimes you might need to cut the top off one of these to, to uh, collect water or to, to do things in. So let's just cut, let's cut the top off of one. So once again, I, the spear point's really going to come in handy, I think. And as you can see, there it does. And as you can see, it cuts that like a champ. So I mean, it's definitely, that spear point definitely makes a difference when you're cutting something like this. I mean, as you can see, it's gonna just cut right through it. So, it's definitely got that there. So, uh, you know, and then you might get a situation where you might need to cut some wood down. So, uh, let's see what kind of shavings it'll do. It's kind of a dry piece of wood here. Let's get into some, some rougher spots. So, if you need to do some shavings, definitely gonna do that. You know, to get some nice shavings for some tinder. Definitely going to cut those. Um, you know, it's definitely going to, going to get that stuff off for you. Definitely hold up nice on that. Um, like I said, I wouldn't do any batoning with it because it's got a, only got a three and three eighths blade. But you know, if you need to cut sticks off, things like that, it will definitely do that well. So I'll definitely do that. I mean, uh, it's definitely going to hold up there. Like I said, if you need to get tinder, it's definitely going to get you some, some nice tinder going, as you can see there. Um, the nice thing I like about this knife, too, is you get a lot of control on, on this knife. So if you need to, to do some nice, let's see if I get in a close shot of some real nice fine stuff here. You can really get it going here because you get a lot of control on, on the knife itself. So, I mean, as you can see... You're going to be able to get your tinder off without a problem. Um, 
and I'm sure if you hack away, this you could cut right through it. But you know, like I said, it's a utility knife, so it's definitely going to do everything that a utility knife is designed to do. And do a little bit more. So as you can see, blue wasp knives, three and three eighths utility skinner, and as you can see, the blade held up really, really, really well there. So we'll go inside and we'll take some final thoughts on it and uh, see what we definitely think about it. All right, guys. So final thoughts on what we think of the Blue Wasp Knives Utility Skinner. I really like this knife. As you can see, we just ran through the mill. The blade held up really, really nice. Um, it's a super sharp knife. Um, I really dig what, what uh, uh, Scott over there at Blue Blue Wasp is doing. Um, go check him out. This knife retails for around 155, and he's got a lot of other knives over there that you guys can go over and get and check out. And uh, He's a U.S. guy, so definitely go support support our, our U.S. knife makers for sure. Like I said, with this knife, you get the, the knife, the sweet-ass Kydex um, sheath, certificate of authenticity, and this card there. So, like I said, I really enjoy this knife. I couldn't be any more happier with what this knife is intended for. A 3 and 3 eighths blade, G10 scale, utility, all-purpose, like, camp slash survival knife. Um, this is turning into one of my favorite knives, so I'm definitely digging what I like here. I really, really enjoy it. I've been carrying it a lot, and I really think it's got a lot of uses, usages, and uh, as an EDC as well as a uh, all kind of different applications. So go check him out. Like I said, you can find him on Facebook. Uh, just search Blue Wasp Knives, or you can email him at Scott Haberman at ymail.com, uh, or you can give him a call. Like I said, it's written right there on the card. 858-335-3321 and uh, totally customized you don't have to buy one or the other you can have one custom made by him so go check him out tell him we sent you sick ass knives love what he's doing make sure you guys subscribe to the podcast and i want to thank everybody again for watching